Hello awesome people, welcome back to Power Solo Creation video tutorial. We know we are getting into Easter, so I can't disappoint you guys. So I brought in this church flyer, that is Easter convention flyer or banner in Photoshop. So I designed this for a client and I decided to share this with you. So for this Easter, I have done like three designs. So this was the first one, a kind of something red and here was the second one and then i have come to this one as well okay so the reason why i have been away a little bit for not uploading content mostly is that i'm on the edge of becoming a graduate like i'm in my final year and we have about one month to exams we are doing projects and stuff so you can see there is more pressure and then i'm also working for some small company so you know you go here you go here so the staffs are too much so, so i haven't been consistent on this so don't worry guys after school i promise that i would deliver constantly for you guys so that we all will be successful as a graphic designer and even more we can move to other staff also guys i need help i need your help if you are watching this channel and you are getting more inspiration or you are getting value from here guys make sure you help us by liking this video subscribe as well if you haven't the youtuber garden tells us that most of the people watching our videos haven't subscribed yet so please if you are part of them i beg you to subscribe for me now and also you can also help us in terms of monetary aspect all right you know we use money to buy credit to we have to improve our machines you know recently i have a fault with my machine my laptop so when it breaks down i'm not going to get some to record videos and stuff for you guys so in order for us to help us i have introduced a way that i have created templates a high quality template for you guys so that when you come here if you're in ghana you just click it's very very affordable you can check the price over here so you come here i will leave a link in the description below you guys should come and check this one out you can see this is a funeral folded brochure a party flyer birthday flyer church flyer funeral flyer so there are a lot of things i have uploaded over here so you guys should come please check these ones out and select your best so this is in the form of helping the channel to get more to so that we can help ourselves all to become successful in what we are doing so guys i beg you that you should come here check these things out the prices are very affordable and if you get the template from here i'll be very very grateful like the video that we are going to do here the template is here and you can see it's very very cheap so when you come here you click on it it will open to this site and this one you are going to see the description the size everything the font that i use on the design so after that you just need to click on just scroll down from up here all the way to the down here and then you can add this one to a back so maybe we want to select more but if it is only this one that you want just click add to back and boom you are going to have it here and the quantity you don't have to buy this one twice just select one you will see the price at the top and you can click on check this one out or you can continue shopping that you can add more so maybe if you want to add another so maybe you want to add this one too you click on it you check the profile if it sits something that you want then it's something that you want to go for you click add to back and then you are going to have two over here then from here you click on checkout so with the checkout it is going to bring you here put in your details you can also give this one to your friend all you need to enter the person email and stuff you review and pay so you click on review and pay and then it is going to take you here at here you can select either card or select mobile money and quickly when you do the payment it is going to send the link into your email address that you use and from there boom you have access to the psd file use it to fasten your process in design so all these things are there to help you 
so like for this one you can see maybe you don't know how to edit so maybe i have put this template from this side when you open it in photoshop this is what you are going to see and when you come here you are going to see we have the background we have the shapes that we use so this contain all the shape that we use we have the fastest image that you can change quickly and we have the test and the information also used so everything is in order for you to move you faster in everything that you are doing so you just have to come you change your image you change your test and if you don't have the font that i use for that project quickly go back to the site and then when you click it is going to it is going to tell you that i use this font so maybe open sans you see the link you click on the link to download this so guys use this technique to help this channel grow in terms of monetary aspect the channel haven't been monetized yet although we are over 1000 subscribers we haven't been monetized yet because of the watch hours so things like this is going to help us provide you with quality and top content as well all right all right without wasting much of your time let's dive into the video okay so with the video a very simple so the whole idea around this easter conversion flyer was to go with a white background so i think i use the size five by three feet so five by three feet in inches the height is going to be 36 the width is going to be 36 and the height is also going to be 60 5 to 60 and then resolution let's go for 72 because of the large size of this banner or this flyer click on create and boom we are going to have it this way all right the idea is to keep a white background then i went into the internet and then i got something like this so initially what most people think is that it's very very easy for some people to get background for their design but to be frank with you it is not everyone struggle to settle on a background because finding a background for your design is something that is very hectic so i went through all these i downloaded all these resources to use for my background you see only one design see plenty resources that i have downloaded to achieve one result so i ended up using this so i'll click and drag this one into photoshop so it is not easy to come out with a background if you really really want a nice background it is not going to be easy at all it's very very difficult so you just have to toggle between them and and at the end of the day you are going to see something that you'll be happy about so from here control t for free transform i'm going to transform this now from here with this background selected you see that this one is very very too much so so i decided to reduce the opacity so the opacity just reduce the hardness or how visible the thing is so let's reduce to maybe 20 percent so you see that intentionally i have reduced the background drastically okay so you can also use the numbers on your keyboard so maybe i want 50 percent i'll just click on five you see it changes here so you can check it over here 20 it just changed from 20 to 50 so let me type maybe 33 you can see it just changed seven is changed to seven so let's maintain something like 20 percent and boom i have my background that i'm going to use for this then also i wanted to bring something that shows jesus around so i got this crucifixion image i'll click and drag this one into photoshop so this one too we don't have any background on this image so it was very easy to use so i will just click and drag this one in place just like this and when you are okay with it you click on enter to accept changes all right so ctrl t for free transform again let me transform this one a little bit so intentionally i wanted to make this one big so let me do that okay next i would like to blend this one with the background so with this one selected i'll add the layer marks from here so click on this 
to add the layer marks over here so before you add layer marks make sure you have the shape selected then you come and click on this and boom we are going to have our layer marks added next with the layer marks we use brush to blend it so i will look for my brush tool and the brush tool i think the shortcut is b and we have it over here so you come you select your brush tool and then i would like to make the size of this one bigger so i will right click on this and then i'm going to have access here to increase the size so let me turn it to maybe 800 and c okay and at the same time you can use a square bracket to make it big or small and also before we paint over here make sure we have black as our foreground so this is the foreground color then from here i can start to paint the black on white okay so you can see it have started blending this one in so this is exactly what i want next i'll click on the move to and then i also like to reduce the opacity of this to maybe 20 percent as well or let's go for 10 so click on 10 i think let's maintain something like 15 percent so i have 15 percent over here and boom from here you can see that we have some problem because we can see the line background over here the line background that we first added so what can we do to prevent this one then with the layer marks added to this one or with the layer marks selected make sure you have the layer marks selected select your brush tool and then you can see uh, at earlier black highs and white review so what we are going to do is that we are going to hide those parts so those parts we are going to apply it on the background so i will select the background and then i'll add layer marks to this one instead then i'm going to then i'm going to brush over here with black to hide those areas which i don't want it to appear on the cross okay next i'll click on ctrl o to fit everything to screen and boom i can see that my background is set so from here i can start so to start first thing is to bring in your pasta you can even start with test so i would like to go with my pasta first so i will click and drag in my pasta ctrl t for free transform and then I will scale this one up to a point where I am satisfied. And then I will click on this one and position it in place. So something like this is okay. Click on enter to accept changes. Control O to fit everything to screen. And boom, we have our pasta or our image added. And one thing we can select these two background let me unlock this one and i can delete this one because we are not going to use it or let's maintain it so this is part of the background i'll select all of them so with this one selected i'll hold down the shift key and then i'll click the last one to highlight everything Control j to group all of them as one and then i can name this one as background click on enter and boom let me normally i select blue for my background so it's something that i want to apply in every design that i do so that i'll be consistent in the colors that i use so i normally also use orange for my pictures that's the photo so i can also group this one put this one into the group and then i'll give this one an orange color okay so this is the background so with the background normally it will distress me so i will click on this lock key to lock this background and boom i'm going to have it as a solid something okay and then i have my image over here next i'm going to add in the church name and then we continue from there so boom just type in your church name and then you are going to get something like this so i'll just increase or scale the size a little bit to fill some space and then i'm going to arrange it to where i want it to be so i want this one to be in the middle how do i make sure it is in the middle first of all i'll go to select select all and then when you are on the move to 
and you have the select all on your canvas you can see this alignment options at the top here click on this to align this one to the center when you are done and you want to remove the selection go to select and then click on deselect okay and boom you are going to have something like this next is to add my easter convention test to with the easter convention i decided to type in the easter in small case and then the convention in upper case okay and then with this one too i remember i went for open sans font so let me select my font so please make sure you note down the font so you can also use it in your project please if today is your first time you come across this channel you are welcome my name is solomon a graphic designer so welcome to the family here we share knowledge concerning graphic design and other stuff which is necessary for our improvement okay please one thing that i would like to request from you is that please click on the like button on this video the more like i get on this video the more youtube is going to share with other audience who are looking for this same content we want to grow we want to grow our fan base so please help me reach 2000k and then from there we can continue to go further to 10k 20k 50k 100k even 1 million subscribers okay and also as you are liking the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also leave a comment in the description below that you are here so just type something in the comment section if you have any question i'm going to do well to contact you and please if you have any project that you would like us or you would like me to complete for you i will leave my email or my whatsapp contact somewhere in the description below so that you can contact me and then we do business together although i'm in the middle of writing my final exams but no worries we need money so we need to get a new machine we need to get a new studio we are preparing a lot for you guys so we need all these stuff to maintain ourselves so i really really need your support here all right let's continue the video before this one get boring so i will just click and enlarge my easter test so just like this then you click on enter to accept changes when you are satisfied with your test so graphic design is not something that is too difficult all that you need to do is to follow the principle so most of the times someone can design something cool but the person is not following the graphic design principles and boom if you do that this one is not going to take you anywhere because you need to kill your designs all right i might not be perfect but the little that i know is what i'm sharing okay so Control t for free transform and let me make this one a little smaller because we want the design to have a little breathing so the more space or the negative space that you see around your design makes your design so unique so if your design is something that is overclouded there is no room for like something like this charlie why this is too much you need to give a space for the design to breathe out a little bit okay so you see that this one is so cute okay then i decided to replace this test so so to replace this t with that cross i just leave a space by clicking on the space bar to leave this space then boom i have this image that i'm going to share it in the description below for you guys to download so click and drag this into photoshop then boom i have this image that i would like to use it's too much over here so control t for free transform and let me make it a little bit smaller okay drag it in just like this and then boom i also decided to bring this one a little up so i wanted this te to come up on the cloud instead of being beneath so i just highlighted it Control x to copy and then i made a copy of this so let me bring this one back 
so this one is here then i made a copy hold on the shift key so how did i make the copy hold on the alt key you see a white i will join the black click and drag to make the copy then i replace my text in so i have the same text but on a two different layer so this one is the layer one so this is the layer one and this is the layer two okay and then i brought this one up on the cross so that this test is going to be on top of that okay then from here i'm going to apply the test effect that i did on the other design so first of all before i do that let me add layer marks to this and with the help of my brush tool i'm going to blend this one in so click to blend this place in just like this it seems like it has gone too much so you see i painted black over here so let me change this one to white so that i'm going to bring some part that i want back all right so i think something like this is okay for now next let me first apply my test effect over here but before then i can see there is a lot of space over here so let me take this one to negative 50 negative 50 the spacing between them is too much so negative 50 is cool for me now and then i'll go to fx add a color overlay and with the color overlay we are just going to add a red to a black gradient this is the gradient overlay sorry not a color overlay it's a gradient overlay so something like this is what we are looking for and then i'll choose linear so you can see we have our gradient over here but i want something deep so let me click on this double click on this one and select a deep red or you can even select all black okay so something like this is cool for me let me even make it more darker because i want this one to look like a dark area all right so something like this works fine for me and then i added a stroke over here and with the stroke i use white so you kind of not see anything then when you add a drop shadow to this this is where you can start seeing the magic that we are trying to bring on board over here okay so with this one let me reduce the opacity so it becomes a little bit low so let me go for something like 55 let's go back to the stroke and i think everything is okay click on enter to accept changes and boom we have this so instead of applying this on the easter i will just copy right click on the convention and then you are going to see copy layer style so click on this one to copy the layer style then when i come i'll just right click and paste the layer style okay but this time around i don't want the black so i'll just hide the gradient line so just click on the eye to hide that and then with my test selected i'll just click here or if you don't have the character go to window you are going to see character click on it it's going to open somewhere here for you so with this i'll just make a sample color from here and then i'm going to do the same thing right click paste layer style hide the gradient and then change the color to red you can see small small we are going to with this one i want to make sure this one is aligned so i'll just click and group everything Control g to group it then i'll go to select all and i'll align this one to center i can also select the convention and align this one to center as well when you are done go to select and hold this select so the shortcut is Control d so if you want to become more experienced in using this tool you have to kind of put the shortcut in your head so that anytime that you are working on a project you become fast on it okay so next i'm going to add the team so the team i think we went for a rounded shape 
so with this one i'll draw this and then with my property panel if you don't have it go to window and you are going to see property over here i'm going to increase the corner radius to have this nice shape i don't want any stroke because i can see stroke and then boom this one also i would like to use the same gradient so right click and paste layer style okay but this time around i don't want the stroke i don't want the drop shadow as well so i want something just like this okay and then let me click and select everything bring this one a little down and then boom i'm going to have my test type here so redemption so this was the theme and with the theme i'll change the color to white so this one can pop really well click and drag this one down now with the help of my test tool i'm going to add team so type in team i'll click and drag this one here reduce the size drastically to maybe 30 and i also like to change this one from extra bold to maybe regular and increase the spacing to maybe 50 and let me increase the size a little bit maybe 40 is 40 points is going to be okay then next with the help of my shape tool i'm going to draw a line shape just like this make sure this one is filled with white no stroke on the line then i can zoom in so you can hold down the alt key and use your mouse scroll bar to, to zoom in or zoom out also at the same time you can hold down ctrl plus ctrl minus to zoom in and zoom out as well next ctrl a to select everything and i will align this one to center the same thing applies to the line select it go to select and you can see ctrl a so this is the shortcut i just use and align this one also to the center next with the help of the rectangular marquee to i'm going to draw a shape just like this and boom we are going to cut this space over here so that we are going to see our theme test very well so to do that make sure you have your line shape selected and with that one selected hold down the alt key and click on the layer max so it is going to do a negative layer max selection for you and boom we have our team already added okay so next what we are to add is the date the time and everything and quickly i would like to do that quickly and then we can move forward all right so guys this is the date the time and everything so i quickly wanted to add this one so we can move a little faster on this design okay so from here let me make it a little smaller like i said make sure you make your design breathe a little bit so you leave some spaces that is the negative space negative space in graphic design is so so important you can even google about it why a negative space in graphic design is so so important it make your design stand out and others so boom here is the date the time and everything so from here i'm thinking of making this one a little bigger so uh, let's see let me select this ctrl t for free transform make it a little big click on enter to accept change select this one as well make it a little big and then i can bring this one a little down over here next is to add the background that i did so with the background with the ellipse tool selected we are going to draw an ellipse make sure you hold down the shift key to keep your ellipse in proportion then i would like to go for a color that i can see so something like red is okay so this is how it is then next ctrl t for free transform or you can go to edit and you will see free transform select that 
and boom you are going to have this one selected after that right click on the shape and then you are going to see this warp click on it and from here with the warp you are going to have the chance to click and drag this one in so you just make sure to click on that edge So you just have to make sure you click on that edge and then you click and drag this place in next do the same thing from here let's click on the ctrl t and select the whip again so we are going to have this and from here i can drag this one also in so if it is too much we can open it a little bit up just like i'm doing so you just have to spend some time fine tuning this to suit your preference or what you really really want okay so when you are happy with the final result click on enter to accept changes then boom this is what we are going to get initially if i was to do it i will spend some time to correct everything for the tutorial sake and to save a little bit of time let's go with this next i'll just right click on this shape and then i'll add I will add the layer style that we copied earlier. I hope you remember. Okay, then from here, Ctrl T for free transform. I will make it a bit larger. Click and drag this one in position. Just like this. Then from here, accept changes and boom. I'm going to bring this one all the way behind the photo. So this is supposed to be here. And boom, we have this one also added. Okay. So from here, I think I added the name of the pasta and everything here. So, all right. So this is the name of the pasta that I have just added. So you can do the same thing by adding your pasta's name. Okay. So you can see from here that I made some of the test caps and some of the so you can see from here that I made some of the test caps and some of them in small k. All these tricks is to help the reader to read this faster. Okay. Then from here, I also like to add this small shape with a white film, but with no stroke to also be beneath the pastest name. And boom, I think that pretty much it how i went about this same church flyer so let's see before so this was before this is what i did earlier and then this is what i have just done with you so you can see we have some small small changes in it but the good thing is is the same idea okay so this is how you can go about an easter convention flyer design in adobe photoshop here is password thank you very much for joining me to the end of this video don't forget to download the resource file free using the link in the description below and also give me some small cash by purchasing this psd file maybe you don't have time to go through all these techniques to bring your final design outcome okay i'll be happy if you can just dash me some coins by purchasing these templates love you all make sure you give this video a like subscribe as well if you haven't and lastly share and also check your screen the other video ready for you to watch next we love you and also keep creating